So we've got a bit of a controversial ending to the Dallas Cowboys versus Detroit Lions. After some terrible clock management by the Dallas Cowboys, the Lions had a chance to go downfield and score a potentially game-tying or game-winning touchdown, depending on what they wanted to do on the PAT. They decided to go for two here to win the game. You know Dan Campbell's going to be aggressive, and they're going to try a trick play here where they're going to throw the ball to the left tackle Taylor Decker off play action. The Lions also have another extra offensive lineman in the game in Dan Skipper, number 70. He's right here, and then the right tackle Panay Sewell is actually way over here. So it's a very interesting formation by the Detroit Lions. You'll see that they're going to fake it right here to David Montgomery and then throw it back of the end zone to Taylor Decker for the potential go-ahead two-point conversion. Unfortunately, a flag was thrown on the play and it was deemed to be illegal touching on Taylor Decker because he did not report as an eligible receiver. Or at least it appeared that he didn't. Well, he didn't, but Dan Skipper did when he came on the field. You'll see right here. I guess the Lions might have thought that um, Decker would have been um, an eligible receiver, but just because of the alignment. But even then, I believe he has to report. You'll see right there that Decker, number 68, along with Panay Sewell, the right tackle, the one in the long sleeves, they're both talking to Brad Allen, and I think they're asking him if they have to report as an eligible receiver. And Allen says they're good, it seems, because they take their position – and ultimately, they end up throwing a flag on it. So at the end of the day, it's just poor situational awareness by the Detroit Lions. A bad play all the way around right there. And it ended up costing the Detroit Lions the game, basically, because they ended up trying to go for it again from the seven-yard line. Dallas jumped off sides. They went for it once again from the two-yard line. Jared Goff's throw comes up just a little bit short in the flat, and they lose the game. A really tough, rate, a really tough way right there to lose the game for the Detroit Lions.